Since long I wanted to do the mosaic decoupage and finally I am doing it. Welcome back to my channel friends, this is Sonia here and today I have this beautiful altered box to share with you all. And in this project I have done the tile mosaic work and with the decoupage technique and I hope you will like it. So here is one of the boxes which I had and this is a cute little box of my MI band and I thought why not to alter this and create a nice decorative gift box. Now for this I am going to use my chalk paint. I absolutely love the shade of chalk paint and I love the way uh, they turn into a matte color once they dry out and they are just fab for your projects. Now for uh, applying my color I am using my sponge dauber and the reason why I love sponge dauber is that you don't get marks of your paints and that's the best part what you can have on your projects. Now as you can see that there are some designs and logo and some text on the box so I will have to do two layers of uh, chalk paint and I will be doing the next layer only once it dries out really well so that I know that where exactly I have to apply this. Now do I need to use gesso for this? This was my thought when I was working on it and when I started using my chalk paint with my first coat of paint I thought oh maybe I should have used my gesso so that I could have covered the uh, box colors designs and everything the text really well but then with my second chalk paint coast I was really happy that uh, I couldn't see any of the designs of the background of my box and that is the best part and I'm happy with the way my chalk paint has turned out in this box. So while doing my second layer of my chalk paint, I uh, focused a little more on the areas where the designs are there. So there I have put a little, just a little thicker paint and on the rest of the areas, it is normally how we apply the second coat of paint. And yes, again, I'm the, using the sponge dauber only and I think one of the my favorite and the much needed tool is the sponge dauber because I really can't think of my colors and uh, blending without it. Now once my box has dried out completely, it's time to do some stamping and I cannot do without script stamps. So here is one of my favorite stamps which you must have seen in my previous videos also. And if you are new to my channel, do check that uh, how I have used script, these uh, script stamps and my different projects like from uh, mixed media, decoupage, scrapbooking and you name it and I have used this in all those kind of projects. So here in the center I am going to do the mosaic work, that's the reason I have just given a border with my script stamp. And now this is a beautiful paper which I have uh, got printed and I got it from some google image. I really don't know the link, if I get the link I'll surely post that. But you can search on google and you can check beautiful designs I, I, out there. and. Uh, I am cut it into 4 equal parts with the tile size and that is going to perfectly fit into my box and then I am going to arrange it and fix it on my box. Now this is how I have arranged my tile and it looks good and I think it's time to stick it and now I am first going to apply my Mod Podge on my complete box and I am going to make sure that my Mod Podge is still wet when I stick my papers. Now the reason why I want my Mod Podge to be really really thick and stick and uh, wet because I might have to remove the papers once I have sticked it because as it's a tile I want it to have a proper uh, spacing around the corners and in the centers. It should look like a proper tile with the grooves on it. So that's the reason I'm going to stick it quickly and then I'm going to arrange it really well on my complete board. Now 
now my tile sticking work is done and now i just thought why not to give it a coat of varnish before starting my work so here i'm using my acrylic varnish spray and this is the twist what actually happened so on the top layer it was absolutely fine with my varnish and usually with the permanent inks they do not smudge at all but when i did the spray work on the sides of my bottle so it was just perfect when i did a quick spray work but once i did the spray work and i was a little uh i little did overdo those uh spraying work the colors actually started smudging the color of my stamp so i guess that is one of the mistakes which you should avoid so this is how exactly it should be and this is how it has turned out with a quick spray and this is how it smudged when i did uh, too much of spraying on one particular space so you can just check out uh and make sure that you avoid this mistake now my box is dried out well and now it's time to add my dimensions to it so here i'm using my varnish this was a complete new trial for me and i had never ever done this so i thought let me try this so here with my paint brush i'm going to make sure that i apply this thick varnish only on my mosaic tiles and on the rest of the areas i've already done my acrylic varnish which is i think going to work really well for this project So now I'm going to repeat the same process on all the four tiles and I'm going to make sure that I have good thick coat of varnish so that it gives some dimension to my project. Now this is almost done and yes it took a lot more time than i thought but it was really relaxing and a soothing experience to work with my paint brush and fill in the uh mosaic tiles with my varnish and this is really really a relaxing process if you really want to do something which is a kind of meditation then do try decoupage and i'm sure you will love it Now my box is done with my varnish and now it's time to add some glitters to it. I was really uh, having some itchiness feeling that I have not used my glitter on this project. So here I'm going to use my fine glitters and uh, for that I'm just going to sprinkle it and with this my box is absolutely done. Yes, I am listing all the supplies down in the description box. Do check that and if you have any queries please do comment below i will try to help you guys as soon as possible and in the max way i can thank you so 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 much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you take care bye bye